Well, alrighty, everybody. Hello and welcome to my house tour 2022. Um, I've finished all of my jobs, all of my redecorating, all of my garden, all of that stuff. So I want to show you everything, how it looks now after I've lived here for what, nine months coming up to. Um, I've also had my cleaner in today, so it seems like the perfect time to do it. So we're going to start by going outside. Dane reads. Right, so this is the front car park. And this is the entrance way slash approach. So I painted these fence panels, painted these red as well. And I gave another coat to the wall. I gave it a whitewash. So we've got some ornaments, some flowers there. So that flower bed down there, I sort of dug all that up, replanted a bunch of these little mini trees in it. And then a load of flowers popped up as well. My garden only actually goes down to this point. There's a little line on the ground. So that's all the neighbours. Um, but I painted the fence panels, painted the shed. The fence panels blew down in a storm recently. But we were able to get them back up. So this is my lawn. We have all kinds of plants down here. So like we've got my apple tree, broccoli. Uh, tomato plant, kale, runner bean, uh, sprouts I think, carrots, runner bean, sweet potato, sweet potato, Physicarpus diablo, which is just a decorative thing, asparagus, more broccoli I think, raspberry, blackberry, it's my friend Sabrina's garden here, she's got a little signpost. Sabrina's garden. So those are all of hers. That panel there, she's going to do some artwork on it eventually. What's that? That's another tomato. This is my hench potato patch in an old bookcase. Carrots again. You've got onions, tomato, more carrots, some more decorative plants over here. My big rhubarb. A few herbs down there jalapeno and habanero, some lettuce. Oh, you can see here as well, I've got my guitar on the fence, an old guitar, uh, some flags. I've got these little cre creature-y thingies. That's my indoor herb garden, or one of them. Some more herbs down there as well. Barbecue, all my old tools. Storage compartment. And then this is the greenhouse. It's uh, got a load of stuff in it. And then that's the bench where I sit when I'm working outside in the garden. So very nice. Repainted the front door, got a ring doorbell, got this nice little thing there. Oh, hello. Got a biggie. Let's see, I have up here. We've got some, you know, nice cat things. We've got his lead as well. I've got over here sort of sauces, herb rack, some kitchen implements, some bread there. Part of my indoor garden. Fridge and freezer. That corner there is the biggie corner. We've got the dustpan and biggie food and all of that stuff. Washing machine there. Lots of squash. Boiler. Kitchen sink. Uh, here we have out here some more of my herbs. Uh, this is a new clock up there as well. And these curtains were specifically made by my friend Juliet of the Tired Dressmaker. So she specializes in textiles, so she made those to make to fit that door. We've got a red curtain there. Yes, I know, we're doing a tour, Biggie. Basket there, we've got my kettle, and that's my coffee machine. So I make fresh coffee from beans. Just cupboards and stuff. We come through here. All of these walls have been painted. These steps have been painted, repainted the bits around the outside. I've, re I've redecorated all of the rooms basically. So onto the living room. It's got this little library sign on the door. As you can see, lots of bookcases. My sofa that I never use. My tie-dyed curtains. That's a little storage cupboard. So I did have my TV in here, but I've eventually moved that upstairs because I just get more out of it with it being in my bedroom. But yeah, this is the living room. In here we have the bathroom. 
again, all redecorated, all repainted and whatnot. Got this new nice little bathroom sign, matching rugs. It's my that is my portable bathtub there, so I can shower or I can have a bath. And then I normally just keep that across there when I'm not using it. So that's the downstairs. Isn't it big? I'm gonna go upstairs now. Land oh landing bit here we're on the curvy stairs um, so this is where I spend most of my time which is my office I guess we'll start from here so again repainted it painted that red stripe around the top Got lots of nice things up on the walls some board games to play with my friend Sabrina all in my books and then lots of like and my guitars at the bottom some stuff from hunter killer this is where I keep my headphones, face mask, and usually my keys. Secondary bookcase up there, so it's got some vinyl records I want to listen to on it. Some books that are for sale, my currently reading pile. Record players behind that TV there. And then that's my desk. So I had the windows replaced since last time because you couldn't see out of them. Got this new comfy chair as well. Uh, over here, this is my snack pile with my indoor fern, my very gangster light. And lots more vinyl records up there, and one of my little mini indoor gardens. That's my incense station. And then, obviously, we, these are the stairs that we came up. Now have these plants down there. And then those up on the wall. Hooks on the back of the door. Fitness pole thing. So this is the bedroom. This is the first room. Ow, you little shit. Big, just bit me. This is the first room I redecorated. So I've got my Greek dream capture there. And my bed. Little TV. Got some more books and stuff up there. And then over the window and also on the other side, I have these like hippie wall hanging things. Got a built in wardrobe there. And then a bunch more vinyl records up there. Some storage in those as well. So yeah, this is where all the magic happens. Uh, I just wanted to give you a little update. It's more for my own perusal than anything because I can watch this back in a year's time and see how much further I've come again. But if you compare this to my previous house tour, which I'll link to below, you'll be able to see how much work I've done on the place. And as I say, I'm pretty much happy with it now. There's, I've just got to do like maintenance and upkeep. Um, I don't have any other major projects. Uh, for example, all the fences are now fixed from when we had the storm. My windows are all replaced, all the rooms decorated, garden all done. So now I can just relax and enjoy this place. So there we have it. So there we have it, that was a brief whirlwind tour of my house. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. As always, let me know in the comments. Let me know what you're reading. Um, do that, why not? Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Hit that subscribe button for more. And I'll see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.